Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120. Some of the coldest air we've dealt with in quite some time is headed our way. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. And for Brian Peters, who's working on the television side this morning, this is your Weather Extreme video for this Friday morning, December the 29th. And we still have to think about the possibility of some wintry precipitation early on New Year's Eve. Let's get to it now. Look at the maps. Um, you've been used to the cold for a few days now. Get used to it even more because it's going to be with us for the foreseeable future. But this big trough over the eastern United States is responsible for that. Uh, you remember it brought in lots of cold air on the uh, Christmas weekend, and uh, things are only going to get worse as we go through time. Look at how the uh, upper air pattern buckles uh, by Wednesday. Uh, the uh, flow coming straight over the Yukon, the Arctic, the poles, whatever else it can find that's cold, and uh, screaming southward in the United States, over the eastern United States. You can see uh, the transport of cold air by Wednesday midweek will be quite impressive one last day or well really two last days of uh, balmy conditions uh, <laughs> have to laugh at that balmy uh, upper 40s being balmy by our current standards these are high temperatures forecasts today from the national weather services uh, ndfd um, program showing upper 40s across most of alabama a few people uh, over uh, south central alabama will touch the 50s I think we'll probably see 50 here in Birmingham with a good supply of sunshine. Sunshine returning in pretty full force. We'll be to near freezing tonight. And uh, tomorrow, about a carbon copy of today, except that we're going to have a little cold front screaming on in here. Dry, of course, no uh, moisture to work with. Maybe dropping our temperatures a degree or two. We'll be uh, around 30 degrees um, tomorrow night, uh, Saturday night. And then we're going to be heading into New Year's Eve and what we've, of course, been worried about is, um, you know, this next system coming in, uh, scaring up enough gulf moisture to produce some problems on Sunday. And, um, you know, we've increasingly seen a trend of the models, the global models, the GFS, the European, to come together, uh, basically in agreement that the system would weaken and, and stay mainly to the south of central Alabama. That's continuing the trend of this latest model run. Here's the GFS uh, for the morning hours on Sunday, uh, showing a mix, a wintry mix, some sleet over eastern Mississippi, some freezing rain, a little bit of heavier freezing rain there just east of Jackson, uh, but a little bit of light freezing rain, light sleet, and rain over west central southwest Alabama. Now, we're going to be watching this very carefully because temperatures could be uh, in a profile at that point that there could be um, could be this uh, depiction that we're seeing here on the GFS come true. And if it does, there could be some slick spots over West Central Alabama. Now, a lot of Alabama fans heading to New Orleans, and um, a lot of them going today, a lot going Saturday, some waiting until Sunday or even Monday to go. And so this presents a bit of a concern for those fans uh, because they would have to, of course, drive through this if they're taking I-59. Um, otherwise, during the day on Sunday, the GFS tends to uh, predict uh, this activity driving to the southeast. It warms up just a tad. It's mainly rain and some light sleet. This is the GFS. Um, still showing a little bit of light um, freezing rain over southwest Alabama. That would be a concern. Uh, the freezing line is well south of Birmingham by 6 p.m. Sunday night. And so that, of course gives us some concern. As we head through time, we look at the European now, flipping over to the European. It shows that um, precipitation moving into Mississippi and Alabama a little earlier during the pre-dawn hours, changing over to uh, freezing rain, even a little bit of light snow. The light snow in blue, the uh, purple there showing uh, some freezing rain over central Mississippi. Um, and as we go through time, that activity Dives on into Alabama, but by that time it's warm enough for it to be rain mixed with probably a little bit of sleet. This is at 6 p.m. Sunday. And so the European has trended to be a little bit warmer, a little less wintry precipitation. That's good news. So somewhere in the middle here probably lies what our solution is. Our outlier 
is the uh, North American model, the uh, National Weather Service's mesoscale model. Um, on the Zero Z run last night, it showed um, widespread, you know, very, very light snow, probably a dusting, a tenth of an inch, maybe as much as a half inch, with a few isolated locations picking up one inch um, by Sunday evening. So we have to, you know, we have to keep this in the back of our mind because if temperature profiles work out and the moisture were to be a little more um, concentrated than we think, then this could be a problem. This is the latest run of the NAM, which came out uh, at midnight um, last night. And it's a little further south, but it still has that same idea of a dusting to maybe some isolated places picking up one inch. So I don't think you can rule out the possibility that we might have to deal with some sort of winter weather advisory on New Year's Eve during the day. Um, now, will that continue into New Year's Eve night and cause problems for celebrations? We just don't know. We'll just have to watch really carefully. Uh, but the screaming message is that it's going to turn much colder behind that system on Sunday. A surge of very cold Arctic air will be moving into Alabama and by Monday morning. This is the National Weather Service blend of models, which we're going to kind of use to help guide us through the temperature forecast, because this is a temperature forecast once we get through New Year's Eve. Uh, looking like temperatures around 20 degrees in the I-20 corridor uh, on Monday morning with some uh, teens, 15 to 18 degrees uh, across North Alabama, and wind chills will be a problem. Um, winds are going to be, you know, 10 to 15 miles an hour on Sunday, gusting occasionally at over 20. Those winds will stay up during the night, Sunday night, which actually helps us a little bit with the temperature, but it really hurts us in the wind chill factor uh, department. We're going to be near zero over the Tennessee Valley. Temperatures in the single digits on the wind chill scale um, in the 10 to 12 degree range across central Alabama and of course that those are some dangerous wind chills can cause frostbite very quickly on exposed skin and that's something we're going to have to worry about and despite nearly full sunshine we're going to have a hard time getting above freezing uh, south of I, or north of I-20 on Monday this is the national blend of models uh, forecasts showing you know 20s entrenched over north Alabama temperatures around freezing in the uh, I-20 quarter but we may very well not get above freezing. And it is a temperature forecast. Let's go day by day. Um, Monday, probably the coldest day. We'll be close to freezing for the high. Um, coldest night probably comes Monday night into Tuesday. Um, the blended model is calling for 18 here at Birmingham. That would put us, you know, some single digits in North Alabama. Uh, temperatures 10 to 15 degrees over a wide area. We'll only be around 35 on Tuesday under mostly sunny skies. It'll warm up a few more degrees on Wednesday, um, you know, maybe 21 for the morning low, 39 for the afternoon high. But then another uh, batch of cold air moves in uh, late Wednesday. The winds increase, and uh, Thursday will be a really raw day again. I think we got a really good chance we probably won't see 36 on Thursday. We might be um, at or below freezing again. And um, I think that the Friday low is probably a little understated. Uh, Scott Martin and I worked through all of this last night. Um, we were calling for 18 on Thursday morning, and I wouldn't be surprised if we had 15 on Friday morning. And then the good news is um, the tropical heat wave begins. Uh, we may see 40 again by Friday. Wouldn't that be just balmy? And uh, we'll be in the middle and upper 40s for the weekend and then, uh, actually see uh, something that's within about you know seven or eight degrees of normal uh, by Monday the 8th when we will be um, around 51 degrees. Now with that warm-up of course comes the chance of precipitation again and it appears that this next round um, that comes the, the high pressure will not be as strong. You see it there centered over Iowa, 1032 millibars and uh, pushing a cold front into Alabama will have some moisture to work with by then and it looks like we could see uh, around one-half to one inch of rain, probably two inches out of the storm total on that system. And, boy, that would be kind of good news because we're going to need some rain when the, all this is over with and we get this cold out of our hair. So I want you to remember now's the time to get ready for this extreme cold. It comes in with a vengeance on Sunday, stays with us through next Friday. Remember the four Ps, people pets, plants, and pipes. You want to make sure that we're checking on our vulnerable friends and family members, our neighbors that might have uh, a little worse situation than we have. We want to make sure they know about the cold and that they're prepared for it. We want to know that our pets have a, a safe place to uh, come indoors or be inside. Um, they've got plenty of food and water. 
be alert for the signs of hypothermia for them too, because just like people, they can they can affect uh, be affected by hypothermia. Remember those large animals. Horses too need shelter. Um, uh, lots of uh, food and water as well. Of course, plants uh, goes without saying. But pipes could be a problem. We start talking about single digits. Exposed pipes have a chance to freeze. You'll want to protect them. You might want to keep a, a trickle of water running through those pipes uh, to keep water moving because it's when the, that water backs up and freezes and the pipes expand that we have a problem. So remember, this is a very dangerous situation that we're heading into. We'll keep a very close eye on Sunday, especially for our um, Alabama fans heading to New Orleans. Auburn fans heading to Atlanta. looks really good. Uh, weather in New Orleans looks pretty good uh, as well. Probably some precipitation on uh, Sunday, but uh, colder on Monday with highs in the 40s. Um, Atlanta looking good. Maybe a slight chance with shower late Sunday night into early Monday, uh, but it'll be turning much colder over there too. They'll be in the 30s to near 40 on Monday, uh, and then in the 30s on Tuesday, uh, overnight lows dropping into the uh, to around 20 degrees uh, Monday night. So it's going to be a uh, uh, a cold uh, a cold situation for both of our footballing teams as they head to their major bowls uh, after a very successful 2017 football season. So that's the last chance I'll get to do the Weather Extreme video for you this year. I'll be back at some point next year whenever Brian or uh, James gives me a chance to, uh, to get here in the saddle. But until then, hope you have a happy new year. AKS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11125.